everybody, this is Rex, and I wanted to just show some of the things that my friend Mary and I made with the um, Color Burst ink pads and his um, Ken Oliver's Color Burst Sprit, you know, the little, um, here, let me grab them. The, well, I used some of the watercolor and then also the Color Burst. So, um... This is a stamp set, I think it's Dina Wakeley's, maybe. I don't have it handy, but it's just that guy. And I used a few different um, stencils that I have, just to kind of get some different variation. Um, I can't remember if I did, I think I did this one with the ink pads. And I didn't do any water reactive with um, what we've done here. This is putting down a stencil and then doing the color burst. Um, this is the watercolors. I just did like a little galaxy. And then this is another setting the stencil down. I think for this technique, excuse me, I'm losing my voice again. For this technique, I think you want a bigger stencil and a bigger area. This, this would be perfect for like a 12 by 12 layout or just a large, you know, like a something that you can frame really because they're gorgeous. So um, I did do, um, like I set the stencil down and then I did just different colors everywhere, spritzed it and pulled it up. And then once I pulled it up, I set it down over here, you know, upside down. And that's where the ink came, or the paint came off. And that's just uh, some stencils, just trying them out. This was using his uh, stencil brushes, which are awesome. They clean up really easily while you're using them. You just have to wipe them off on a, uh, what you would call it? Mike, what are these called? You know, a little towel like that. Microfiber. I got mica in my head. Microfiber. <laughs> and I think this was Mernie's. Just testing them out. She did that one. She did this one. This turned out really cool. There's a couple different stencils. She had. She brought some too. That one, and then isn't that gorgeous? So vibrant and beautiful. So I thought I would just show um, the ink pad with the stencils today, just so you can kind of see how that works. And we need some spring flowers desperately because we're tired. We just had snow yesterday, or last night, I should say. And it's April 1st today. So I don't have all my supplies, but we're gonna kind of just wing it a little bit. I'm first gonna do his brushes. I will say for me, these are a little more difficult for me just because of my bad thumb that I always bring up. But I think for anybody else, they'd be just fine. See how nicely that gets covered? And then you just keep, go wherever you want to go. They're so pretty colors, such pretty colors. Put this over here. Moved it. Uh, when we played around, we used the um, the makeup brushes. Um, but I mean, this works just fine. It's a nice synthetic bristle. Okay, I'm going to put something on here so 
so that I don't move this. Oh, here we go. Just want a little weight on there. There. So then, just to clean it up, just wipe it off on here. On your mica cloth. <laughs> your microfiber cloth, I know. I think that should be good. Are you going to test it out? Yep, it's fine. So then I will try some gamboge. I love gamboge. So pretty. And this is kind of going to be like opposite of what the color should be because of the way the stencil is. So it's kind of going to be a little different. See, there's no pink there at all, which is nice. So you're not going to um, taint your ink pads at all. And again, I could use different um, brushes too, but there, isn't that weird? You still see it. All right, then I'm going to do green. Look at how pretty that looks already. I kind of got to barricade it though. Only because I'm, I don't have this tape down. So this will be like reverse coloring. I think is the, I think the stencil's backwards. You know what I mean? Or is it just me being all confused right now? <laughs> I have been so sick, it's not even funny. So I am glad to be in the land of the living again. Because it was not fun at all. This would be great for a wall. This big brush like that would be so cool. And that's kind of popular again. I've noticed. Um, we I did it probably 15 years ago in our lower level. Um, stenciled the wall by hand. Like, totally by hand. I didn't even measure it out or anything. And it actually turned out. Um, and then we have stencil in our... Lower bedroom here, I should show that. I might get a picture of that and show you. Because we bought a rep reproduction of a um, mission arts style stencil. It's so cool. It's a really cool pattern. All right, next, a little bit of turquoise. Never hurt anybody. probably get some green here using this brush or this color in that yellow. Oh, 
don't see it there. So we went to a meat raffle Saturday, and we had an article in the paper a few weeks ago because um, we do a lot of meat raffles. And according to that, it says Minnesota is the only state that does meat raffles. I find that hard to believe because they're way too much fun. But anyways, we went to this bar from where I grew up. Um, and I haven't been in there for 40 years. Well, that's dating me. Okay, I haven't been in there for five years. I'm just kidding. It's been a while. And two people with me at my table, both won twice. I didn't win one piece of meat. I was so mad. And they had some really nice meat. Like, um, one gal won a big, huge pile of pork chops. And then she went back and got two big steaks like that. Ooh, is that pretty? That did turn out nice. I need a little bit here, though. If I can get this bag. I mean, even that looks pretty. All right, how are we going to do this? What color do I want there? I think I want green over here. But let me know down below, does your state do meat raffles? Because I just can't believe everybody wouldn't do them. Because I mean, it's just so much fun. You know, they, they sell tickets. Like little, you know, kind of pull tabby type tickets or whatever. Or raffle tickets, I suppose. And then they spin a number, spin a wheel or pull a number or whatever. And then one person wins the meat, so you get to go up and pick whatever you want. And it's usually like a local, usually a local butcher that supplies the meat. So wherever this is, that local butcher will supply the meat. Then, um, like some places, spin twice for each number or each round, I should say. This one spin once for meat. And then the second time, they spin for a drink of your choice. Well, it was, you know, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. and So I didn't even win that. And then after they get done with all the meat, then they do gift cards. This place does. But our, my neighbor, I was telling my neighbor about it, and he goes, Oh, you know, up at the lake, they do two rounds of meat per uh, round. I was like, dang, I'm going up there. But like Scrubby said, you know, you can just go and buy the meat for as much money as just shell out for the tickets. Because we usually get two or three every time. Look at how pretty that is. That doesn't really turn out pretty. Like, too bad this isn't a die cut. Could cut that out. And But anyway, so here's the... Aren't those colors gorgeous? I love them. So had I had this straight... I could have just like done something down here. I suppose I still can. Just do something, you know, like cut it off. Oh my gosh, look at this. Looky, looky, loo. Wait, I gotta show you this. Okay, wait, hang on a second, I gotta show you something. Oops, come here, you. So we don't have an avalanche. I could put this with this. Isn't that pretty? Same kind of flower shapes. But I probably won't. Because I want to um, do a spring card, I think. Spring birthday card. Because I have these I could add. That'd be cute with it. Or I've got these I just got at a my favorite thrift store a few weeks ago. A dollar fifty because everything was half off. Like they have a app, and then that makes you a VIP member, which er, I'm sure everybody has the app. But then you can go. They'll have like, ugh, they'll have a twenty five percent off day, and then right after that they'll do half off. But aren't these nice? I know they're old. These are from like 19, wow, 
1996. And they are, have not been used, I don't think, at all. So I got them for, they're $3. I mean, they really mark their stuff down. And then I got it for a dollar fifty because it was half off. So I got to keep that because it was such a good deal. So maybe I'll do a birthday. We're gonna see. Oh, I don't even have any card bases. Oh, well, well, I'll cut this off first. And so pretty. Oh yeah. So tell me down below if you guys do meat raffles, and if so, what state are you in? Not state of mind, but what physical state are you in? Because that would be real interesting, because I think that's kind of odd. And if you don't do meat raffles, you could be everybody's friend by having one. Um, oh, and what they do is it's usually at a bar or a, like a VFW or whatever. That one was used. But then they have like a local group come in and do a fundraiser. So then everybody that buys the ticket, the poll tabs, the meat is donated from the butcher. All the business for the poll tab goes to the fundraiser. Plus they get to have a, a silent auction. Plus a lot of places will have like the VFW near our house. They have um, the best taco feed ever. Unfortunately, they don't have enough people going there anymore, so they um, had to sell their place and downsize. I'm hoping they're not going to stop that tradition. But anyways, um, okay, so there's that. So I'm back a day later, feeling worse than I did yesterday. So I'm going to push through and get rid of this awful cold or flu or whatever it is. So I took the um, Dollar Tree get glitter plate. What is that? Dollar Tree glitter pins and just drew a line in the silver. It's, they're like mica or like the stinky Stella ones. With all the really nice mica sparkle. And then I'm going to try to figure out where I put my glue gun. Oh, where is it? Well, I've got this. I think I might have... I must have it upstairs. See, this is going to be a pain in the butt now. So I'm going to get all my stuff upstairs. Down here. But I'm still working on getting this cleaned out. My friend's going to have a garage sale in May. So instead of doing more de-stashes, I think I'm just going to bring my stuff there. And one fell swoop. Um, then... Whoopsie. Hang on, you guys. Fasten your seat belts. Sorry about that. I'm just going to add some. I should have put this over. There. I like doing that um, foam. You know, cut a piece of foam to the size of your card. But I think it's more important to use that when you do watercolor. So it'll flatten out your piece better. I 
shouldn't cut my nail so short. I need that pointy fingernail. Okay. I was gonna put like little doodads or something on it, but I changed my mind. A little low, shoot, oh well. It's a little bit low, that's okay, we're not gonna fret. So here's the pretty little card. The card base are those ones I got at Hobby Lobby, and then um, the mat is from the paper I got at Hobby Lobby. So there you have it. Pretty little spring card for a birthday. Um, and we're gonna have some bunch of birthdays coming up. So I might make some more of these because I really like how it turned out. I love the font on that Stampin' Up set too. That's pretty cute. So thank you for watching. Bye.